How's it guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bassing with Sasha. I've actually got a very late start this morning. It is quarter to seven. I actually wanted to be at Genie Valley um, by six o'clock this morning. But uh, as I said, I got a really late start. I had a very late night last night. Let's get into some fishing. I'm going to be throwing a topwater frog. I'm going to be throwing a white frog since it's a good contrast to the bird blue skies as you guys can see. I don't know what the temperature today is going to be but it feels like it's going to be a hot day. So let's get into some fishing and let's see if I can't pull out a fish or two on that top water frog. Okay, so I'm throwing a white horny toad by zoom. Let's do the weightless wacky. I'm gonna mix it up. I haven't fished here in a very long time. I remember the last time I came here, uh, Wacky didn't do so well. It's a beautiful day today. It's gonna be really nice. This is obviously not working. So, the little sauce is swim. Obviously barbless here, but I'll put him right back there. Nice little 800 gram fish. Pop right out. It's like super important to keep your pressure on your line now because of the barbless hooks, but it wanted that. Bloody barbless hooks. Okay, so flashy underspin has been producing. I've actually caught two on it now. Um, just uh, the one came off, obviously because of the barbless hooks, which is 
pretty crappy but what I'm actually doing now is I am going to be tying on a Texas rig pegged bullet weight with uh, I think it's a 3 16 ounce weight so it's it's very small as you guys can see it there it's quite a small little uh, weight and that should get down there but also stay in the place where the fish are hanging I've been um, trying to catch three that are in that little pocket down there and uh, yeah they're kind of interested but also not it's like a little bit of a finicky one but yeah I'm gonna tie on a crawl bait hopefully I brought I did go through my tackle box and I kind of just chop and changed everything that was in there but uh, let's see what I can pull out and let's get back to fishing all right prawn time so what I'm gonna do is I'm legitimately just gonna pinpoint bedding bedding fish like this guy right here uh, he got very spooked cryptic really really well guys it's been tough out there i actually went to the top dam if you guys have been to june g new valley and i was targeting a fish and i was pissing it off so much and um, i actually realized that my camera was not rolling anymore um, i did hook into him but like i say because of the barbless hooks it just makes it very very tough keeping the fish on the actual hook but yeah i'm gonna do this one bank again and then i'm gonna go back up to the top dam it is now uh five minutes to 11. it's uh, been quite a tough day but yeah that cosmic black uh clout by six cents it's actually not doing too badly very different to what I usually throw I usually throw very natural colors but I've been on this um, on this dark color uh, page these last couple of days I've been throwing a lot of Juneberg a lot of Juneberg and it's just working for me wherever I go I've got a lot of confidence in that color so I'm just probably gonna pick myself up like a couple of Juneberg colored sen Senkos as well and then maybe we get lucky um, in my future videos but yeah uh, stay tuned 
and hopefully I can pick up uh, one or two more fish and then I'm gonna go home. Cosmic black Senko. Let's get this guy unhooked because you know he had that for quite a while. But luckily, barbless hooks, little fish, little fish, but took it hard. There we go. Hey, my little Senko. Yeah, boy. Cosmic Black Senko, great. Well, not a Senko, it's actually clout. Six cents clout, uh, it's a bit lighter. So it falls a little bit more subtle. And uh, maybe that is the key. I don't know, but um, I actually saw that fish take it. wanted. Yes, it's stumpy. I think I've caught this guy before. Let's put him back on his little spot. He's been caught quite a few times, actually. He did not like that sinker at all. And that's how you bed fish. <laughs> Persist and you persist and you persist. Uh, I've caught, I think it's been five, eh? But it's so slow. Yeah, this one's not interested. Really big, it's just my coming, it's chasing the fish away, but it doesn't want to bite, it's tried like everything. Yeah, me too. It's just not, not interested at all. There's a nice big one at the top in the corner, but also I'm not interested at the yeah, moment. I'll, I, I got that one up there, but then it came off my, this, this far away from me. Oh no, that's unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, it's been tough, eh? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll just carry on, I guess. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's all been bed fishing. Yeah, are you, what are you using to catch the boys at? Uh, I caught three on this. So it's literally yeah. just sitting on the bottom. It's yeah. just in the nest. And then uh, wacky rig. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> always works. Not a bad little fish. Let's put it back. Okay, I am finished with fishing today. It was very, very weird fishing today. I obviously caught a lot on uh, bed. Yeah. Um, Two fish, three fish actually, came off a underspin with a Guggen Saucy Swimmer. I'll leave the color and everything linked down below where you can actually buy them. If you guys are interested in buying them, then I caught two on a clout. Was it two or three? I'm not too sure um, how many I've actually caught, but I think I caught like five or six fish. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the, hit the, hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button leave comments down below like always i really really appreciate your guys feed feedback and i make a huge effort to comment on every single comment that you, uh, that i have in the bottom and um yeah i'll check you guys on another episode of bassing with sasha